I have not been so excited for this year to be finally ending. A lot of you guys are probably have this huge plan ahead for yourself. And then you start Googling around and finding ways to become a web developer. And turns out that you find a lot of resources, probably too many resources out there on the internet. So in today's video, I am going to walk you through step by steps to help you to become a web developer. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Victoria. You can also call me Vicky. I am super passionate about helping coding newbies to get into tech and also giving you the latest updates on web development and all things JavaScript. If you are interested in learning more about web development or if you're currently learning how to code, this might be the perfect channel for you. Let's dive into the gist of the topic, shall we? So before you even dive into the programming languages and all the technologies that is going to be in web development, I want you to have a bigger picture of understanding how web works. So make sure that you are understanding the most basic fundamentals about HTTP, about DNS, about the internet. I am going to list all these basic informations that you are going to need and I think that I have found all these videos that are going to be helpful for you to watch through to understand the main concepts about internet. Step number two is to learn the most basic of the basics, which is HTML and CSS. So before you even learn about JavaScript, and you probably hear about JavaScript a lot because that's a programming language, HTML and CSS are not programming languages. They are technologies. HTML is a markup language. It's kind of like the bone of a human body. So like it's the structure of the web. Understanding what is semantic HTML, also the basic idea of SEOs and a little bit about accessibility if you wanted to dive a little bit into knowing more in depth of HTML. One of the websites that I would 100% highly recommend it to learn HTML and CSS is this website called freecodecamp.com. To be honest with you, when I first learned web development, I just go on to freecodecam and I learned so much about HTML and CSS and it's like a step-by-step -step kind of approach so you get to really get that information grind in your head. So after you learn HTML, obviously you're going to learn about CSS. So what is CSS? CSS is like the makeup and the flesh, like the, the, the pretty part of the web. So think about how HTML is like the bone structure. So CSS is like the fancy makeup and the hair. CSS can create crazy, nice looking animations. There's a lot of things you can use for CSS, but for the gist of learning the basic and as for beginner, I would recommend just to really understand the basic concepts about CSS. Uh, if you do want to learn a little bit in depth on CSS, you can get into media queries, which is basically allows you to have a responsive web um, on different mobile devices. Don't go too crazy on CSS just now. Um, make sure that you just learn the basic of it. For now, you are good. The next thing, and it's probably the most fundamental thing that you are going to learn about is JavaScript. So JavaScript is the magician of the web page. So it's the muscle that allows the web page to behave differently, to change different things. When you start learning about JavaScript, I really want you to focus on understanding the basic and the concept, the structure, the syntax first, and then dive into DOM manipulations. What DOM is, is a document object model. So really understand what DOM is and how do you manipulate the DOM by using JavaScript and learning about how do you fetch APIs with JavaScript, so the concept of Ajax, and also learning about the ES6 
the newer version of JavaScript and really going to help you a long way. So that is already a lot of information that you have to really take in. So I would say maybe spend a month really dive into these concepts and really checking in with yourself to understand all of these concepts. And other thing that I wanted to highlight on JavaScript is really understanding what is hoisting, what is event bubbling, what is scope, what is prototype, shadow DOM, strict, and how browsers works. And one of the books that I would recommend is the book called You Don't Know JS. And it's a great book for you to really dive into the concepts about JavaScript, better understand about how JavaScript is so quirky and a little different than other programming languages. Read it once and don't worry too much about like really, really, really understanding it because currently you're at this stage where you're kind of like getting all these informations just all throw at you. So just absorb like a sponge and try to understand everything and see how much you can apply when you actually start building a project. So now, let's dive into the gist of basic concept for all developers. So including the front end, the back end, um, anyone who is developer in general, it's really important to understand the idea of version control system. So this is a great time for you to create an account on GitHub and start building projects and understanding how GitHub works. Then how do you create a repository to store your projects on GitHub, which is like on the cloud. So then you can always get your project back from the cloud to your local to take a look at your projects. Really take your time to understand version control system and use it with GitHub and really spend a little bit time on understanding that concept because that is a really basic developer knowledge that you have to know no matter if you're in the front end, the back end, full stack, mobile developer, all of that. Let's talk a little bit about package manager. In the industry, there's like a lot of different types of package managers that you can use. A package manager is a manager to manage everything for installing, you know, different um, technologies, the libraries, frameworks, and all of that. Here, I would recommend to understand NPM. I would say that don't even go too crazy about all these different package managers. I would just say that to focus on the most basic one, which is NPM. That's gonna be your package manager and get it out of the way and you're good. So that was already a lot of information that I just tell you, right? First of all, you need to pause. After you learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I would highly recommend to follow by a video on Udemy. One of the course that I would recommend is Cole Steele's Web Development Bootcamp or Angela's Web Development Bootcamp. So I would say watching the video plus understanding the concept and all the things that I mentioned before about a month to two months in, you are pretty set on understanding all the fundamentals. Now, I want you to spend more time actually building projects. The first few projects that you're going to build out is going to be very simple and they're usually very static sites. I would highly recommend to check out this video that I created, JavaScript projects for beginners and check out the video for HTML and CSS, I would say that this would be a great time for you to start building your own personal website. Nothing crazy, just a really simple website for you to practice. Trust me, down on the line, you might want to improve your website. You might want to make it way better, way fancier. For now, you just need to build a website to practice. So don't go too crazy on the colors and all that stuff. Focus on um, actually practicing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all together. Whew. Okay, so at this point, you're probably like two months into learning coding and you definitely learned so much more than before and you felt like you need some organizations into your code. This is where the time for you to learn about a framework. Pick a framework, and currently there are three frameworks that are very popular with JavaScript. The first one is React. I would really highly recommend to learn React if you can. The second one is Vue. Um, Vue has been up and coming. It's definitely easier to learn Vue 
versus learning React. So if you don't have a lot of time and you're thinking, I probably not going to work for a large corporate and I just wanted to really pick a framework and get it going and start building projects, then I would say go ahead and learn Vue. Like Vue is easier to learn and it's simpler. The next one is Angular. Angular is has been there forever. It's probably like one of the earliest framework. I would still recommend to learn Angular just because the newer version of Angular is actually very pleasant to use. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Either way, just pick a framework and focus on learning that framework to the point that you feel comfortable to actually get into building in other projects. Yes, it sounds like there's a lot of things you have to learn to get into web development, but once you start learning one thing after another, another after another, and start building projects, it gets easier. It's very rewarding when you're coding in front and you see the fruits of your labors right in front of your eyeballs. It's very rewarding and it's very visually satisfying. You can do this. The last but not the least is picking projects or projects to put into your resume. So now this is important because um, you wanted to make sure that the projects that you pick is going to be resonated with the developers. When you are interviewing, you want to show that you are ready for the real job. I have created a video talking about projects that are going to get you hired somewhere over here check it out and it's going to provide you a lot of information about um, projects and how do you pick projects and what kind of projects that you should pick when you are thinking about putting those projects into your resume or your portfolio so that was just a lot of information and if you are still wanted to learn more about web development and like thinking about whoa how much css do you really need to know to get into front end I've got a video for you. Go ahead and check out this video over here. Leave me a comment down below and let me know that if you are currently learning anything that I mentioned previously. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Adios.